except I knew how to set up a standard valve program. And, uh, but uh, I had a uh, fabulous time. And uh, uh, in 88, I got a chance to uh, come back to the States for an interview with TWA. And <clears throat> I'm standing in a little uh, outside some offices with some other candidates uh, for TWA. And I hear, it's Kansas City, and I hear this voice, and this guy's walking up the stairs. I'm looking, I look at these guys next to me, and I go, I know that voice. And about that time, his head pops up on, as uh, Jim Folsom. <laughs> I said, holy crap, I haven't seen him since pile train. They all look at each other and say, well, there goes one slot. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, he suited me uh, through the, uh, uh, the interview process. In fact, uh, when I transitioned to as captain, DC-9 captain, finally over to uh, back to the MP-80, uh, Jim gave me my uh, check right on that too, and we survived anyway. So <laughs> check me off. And, uh, it was a great time, and uh, uh, I think I told several of you already. I was on my last trip before my 60th birthday, which my birthday is September 13th. Uh, left on September 10th. Through San Diego, went and had some Mexican food, probably had a margarita. <laughs> and, and next day, we're supposed to, on the 11th, we're supposed to fly to St. Louis to Boston and then get back on St. Louis on the 12th. Uh, needless to say, about 7 30 in the morning, my first officer calls, says, uh, Dean, turn on your TV. Because when the phone rang, I figured it was through schedule and say, uh, You're not going to uh, Boston, you're going to. Anyway, Turn on TV, and of course, you know, uh, you know what happened after that. So, stuck in San Diego until that Friday, the 14th. TWA, like uh, my trip report, you know, mm -hmm. it was a uh, three day trip, but it was like a, you know, that many changes because they had to keep me on, since I was off station, they had to keep me on the payroll. And you go, finally got. Some some of those pay cuts back. <laughs> um, I've uh, well, I have. Uh, we have six children. Combined. Oh, I have five of my own. Jen has one of her, and so we have six kids. They're scattered all over the country, and um, we have twelve grand, twelve grandkids and eleven. Great oh. <laughs> well, you won, <now>, Robert. <laughs> well, I can't take credit for the. Yeah, it's a blended family from my my second wife. Uh, that some of them may have been down uh, at Gulf Shores, but uh, anyway, uh, we're all family, and I'm, I'm granddad or great granddad. And she's she's grandma, and uh, we just in March had the, my youngest daughter had twins. So uh, I just want to, uh, as been said before, uh, every every time I've been to one of these events, whether it's a, a funeral or a memorial or just a get together like this, it's just like holy cow, you know. Just like Whitey said, you know, you can't talk about this class without getting emotional before it's over. Anyway, thank you very much. Well, shit. <laughs> it's all shucks. Yeah. It's shucks for Raleigh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was the youngest guy in the class, and I think I still am. <laughs> I was a guard guy, uh, didn't know a damn thing about